here with a review of a manga that's going to be a little hard for me to review. It's called Town of Evening Calm, Country of Cherry Blossoms. <clears throat> um, I went into this manga not knowing what it was. Uh, I just picked it up because it looked so beautiful. And brought it home, started reading it, and was immediately pulled in. The art style is this lovely, simple, sketchy, almost Studio Ghibli style art style. I'll give you a feel for it there. Very nice, very simple. It's about a woman, young woman, who um, lives here. Oops, I'm sorry. Lives here. Um, <clears throat> and as the story went along, I realized that uh, she lives in 1955 in Hiroshima. So the bomb went off about a decade earlier. She's a young woman, so she lived through it. And um, the story is about, uh, well, her life and then the life of, of others in her family going down to the present day. So it's several stories interconnected. And uh, it hit me real hard. And this is, this is a, a strong work, partly because of that visual style and partly because it is a story about everyday life. This is not about the bomb. This is living after the bomb. Is living with the after effects of what, what happens there. Uh, I mean, she and her family are all sickly for the rest of their lives uh, because they you know, fall out, all that stuff. And she has various issues surrounding what she saw and what she experienced, you know, when the bomb dropped. And the art style does such an excellent job of presenting that in a very simple way. It's not stark the way Mouse is, for example, the Art Spiegelman comic. Um, partly because the author is a, was a shoujo manga artist who, when she finished doing her, pr her work prior to this, went in and her editor said, why don't you do a manga about Hiroshima? Um, and she said, oh, that's great. It's, it's a beautiful city. I'd love to do something about you know, the city and so forth. And she realized, oh, he means that element of Hiroshima. Because uh, she, she lived there. She grew up in Hiroshima. Um, but she, I mean, obviously she, did, she, she wasn't born there. I mean, she, she's young. So, I mean, rather she, she wasn't born before the bomb. Anyway, so she lived in this town which had that and had people in the town that were affected by that and, and all, all the issues of, of prejudice against those who were hit by the bomb and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, those who were affected. Um... So she told this story, this very shoujo style story, about people living with the after effects of the bomb and having parents who went through that and what that, what that means to those parents. Um, I, I Honestly, I put this manga down when I finished reading it and sort of got up and walked around for a little bit because I kind of wanted to clear my head. I, I, was, I was that strongly affected. That happens very, very rarely to me, only, only for the works that really get to me. Um, it was sad in a lot of ways, but it wasn't maudlin. It wasn't, you know, oh, feel bad for these people. It was, this is life. These are the results of a lot of this. There's some anger in there. There's some frustration. And there's a lot of just normal, everyday life. I mean, and I, I want to make that clear that as much as this is about the after effects of Hiroshima, that is the color on this story. That, that, that is the, 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 the shadow of everything going on. What's actually going on are people falling in love, people pursuing relationships. Um, one girl is wondering why her father keeps wandering off and starts going after her to find out what you know where who he's going to visit. Um, all this various stuff is 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 going on with that as kind of a backdrop, as something just sort of to 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 not just to remind you what's going on, but to, to provide context of what's going on. Um, I mean, obviously that was such a defining, um, defining moment for that entire country, you know. And what's remarkable is how the, the author is able to bring that into the everyday life and to present it as not big melodrama, not big, big, huge stuff happening. It's not, this is not a Hollywood big special effects movie. This is a gentle story of, I keep coming back to this word, but everyday life, you know, 
and, and that's kind of the horror of it, is how that event, the, you know, the dropping of the atomic bomb, colored everything, going decades beyond, you know, how that colored everyday life for decades and decades. Um, so yeah, this, this, this really uh, hit, hit, hit home for me in, in, in ways. Again, it's called A Town of Evening Calm, A Country of Cherry Blossoms. That's a reference to the town is Hiroshima, the country is Japan. It is one volume. It retails for 15 bucks, which means that's MSRP, so you can probably get it for closer to 10 uh, around there. Uh, it's gotten a lot of rave reviews, Publishers Weekly, New York Magazine, uh, won awards, things like that. It's, um, it's definitely worth checking out at some point. And, um, 